Hello, kids and families of the heart, and hello, kids ministry volunteers. What I want to give is a brief state of the ministry address. I could have worn a tie and stood behind a podium, but I mean, it's come on, guys, it's been an interesting seven months, has it not? Back in March, the beginning of March of this year, we were doing kids ministry a little bit like this. Well, back in my day, we had a whole team of volunteers that showed up on Sunday morning before worship to get ready to serve the kids together. It was pretty great. In other words, there were a lot of ways to be involved in both the kids' lives and the families' lives all taking place around our Sunday morning gathering. That was the key backbone to our getting to know one another, of our building one another up in Christian love. And it created a space and an environment where we could be involved and to play a role in building up one another. And that is a key part of church life. 2020 has sent us into a bit of an identity crisis, right? Uh, I think all of the church, if not the whole nation, is having an identity crisis of some sort. What are we without large group gatherings, at least for the time being? Our kids ministry strategy has varied over the course of this pandemic. Near the beginning of this, I decided to keep up the curriculum that we were going through, the narrative of the patriarchs, Jacob, Joseph, and have some fun experimenting with videos. Yep, Jacob was working in service to Laban for so many years. As that ended and the pandemic carried on, I wanted to involve other people. Uh, so we invited some of our kids ministry teachers to make videos of their own. We're gonna shout because God is giving us the city, okay? So shout, shout, shout. Ah! So Mordecai approaches Esther and says, Esther, you're a Jew. Don't think you're gonna escape just because you're in the palace, you're gonna get killed too and you gotta do something about it. And then there's a really great saying, you've come to your position for a time such as this. I also had an intern with me over the summer and we put together a digital VBS. There are activities, there are dances. So guys, I'm inviting you to join Adventure Alley as she takes you through a unique tour of the story of the Exodus. Kids, parents, if you haven't checked that out, you really should. I'm so grateful for the collaborative effort of doing that. Making videos is time intensive and many of our, our volunteers simply, that would be a lot to ask. So how do we do this? Video production is time intensive. It takes a lot of time sliding stuff around, getting carpal tunnel. It takes a lot of time sliding stuff around, getting carpal tunnel. But we wanted to build this kind of library, this resource page where kids and families could go and they could re-engage stories of scripture or they could do activities that help come off the screen. We've done these things called movement prayers, which we've nested in our Sunday morning worship time where kids are invited to move around and to experiment with a little bit of wiggles in their prayer. Water stood above the mountains. Everybody do a mountain. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. So kids ministry as a whole has been re-envisioned as something that we can do at home from the screen. As Next Generations Director, I also oversee our internship and, and our youth ministry. And for this season, that's where I've spent most of my energy and effort, creating a space where they can come together digitally. We have cultivated a space for youth and near peer mentors to meet together and to study God's Word. Each week there is a teaching video where we engage God's Word and we do so prayerfully. Then we meet in our digital youth group space on Zoom. And we are joined by a wonderful team of college students who love Jesus and love youth. And we're engaging some pretty tough topics this semester uh, dealing with the biblical view of justice. And so we're taking our, our youth volunteers as interns and we're studying together some really interesting resources that help us navigate this difficult conversation. Here are some of the resources we've been using to help dive into this timely topic. 
we've even done a youth retreat. Hey youth group, this is Josh. I'm really grateful to be a part of this virtual or digital youth group retreat. Are you ready for the challenge? We've done a talent show. If I hit the one with the ping pong ball under it. Oh yeah! To the end. We've done game nights. Woo! Let's go! Youth group game night! Are you ready for youth group game night? I can't hear you. A lot of my energy and effort's been focused on this team in order to be with the adolescents in our church who are navigating this time you know, with less time with their friends, with less time with their social structures, navigating this pandemic. We want to make sure we're there with them week after week with attention, with care, with the Word of God, and with teamwork. And so a lot of my time has been spent in the youth ministry uh, and, and our youth interns. Kids ministry volunteers, I want to say the attention that I've had to give to youth ministry and re-envisioning that structure uh, has taken away some of my attention from kids ministry and thinking about how to do that well. And so if you feel like you're out of the loop, I apologize, this is a disorienting season. So I've had to pick where I've focused my attention and uh, I'm now at the place where I believe we can start building a game plan for moving forward in kids ministry. So let me tell you about it. So moving forward, kids ministry now has an opportunity to move beyond video for our volunteers. And so volunteers, as you know, we've moved into the high school to record our thing together. We are doing that socially distanced. We are doing that with all the safety precautions and the, and the number cap that the high school will give us. Moving forward as safely as we can, we now, Kids Ministry volunteers, have a way for you to participate in person. So Kids Ministry teachers, Kids Ministry volunteers, anybody in the Kids Ministry world, right? This is kind of a, a, a total reset. If you're interested, and being a part of, of rebuilding kids ministry at the heart for the season ahead, right now we have an opportunity for you. On Thursday nights, one of our kids ministry team, myself included, will be giving a five to seven minute kids talk on the stage. For those of you that are conjuring pictures of pirates, this is not that kind of plank. Jesus is talking about someone with a plank, piece of wood, sticking out of their eyeball. We record them on Thursday nights. The possibilities are limitless. You can do any creative thing you want to help build up the kids in their faith and engage scripture. Guys, it's gonna be a long ramp back to life as we knew it at the beginning of this year. It's gonna be a long ramp. And we're gonna have lots of conversations along the way as we begin to aim towards that. But for the time being, I'm asking Kids Ministry volunteer crew, and that could include parents, if anybody wants to give a five to seven minute kids Devo during our Thursday night worship recording, I welcome you and I encourage you to help us continue to rebuild and make this a community effort. And kids, just know we're here, we love you. We wanna do our best to provide your parents with resources, with a community, that you know that you and your spiritual life, you learning about God, you being cared for by your church family, that is our priority. Let's figure this out together as we move forward. Let me close this by reading from the Paraclete Psalter, a prayer, a morning prayer that I thought would be particularly relevant to us today. Most merciful and loving God, your blessed son suffered and died for us. Grant us grace to endure the sufferings of this present time, to overcome all that seeks to overwhelm us, and to be confident of the glory that shall be revealed in us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So guys, I know we've had to re-envision community in 2020 without a big group gathering. And I'm hoping that these digital resources and our time together building up the kids on Thursday nights that we show on Sunday morning can be a part of us moving forward and helping us connect with one another and our faith during these trying times. Thank you for letting me share a little bit about where we've been, what we're doing, 
and hopefully where we're going. Love you guys and Godspeed.